These shits got holes. Hole, bro. Bro. No one of you came to my house and stole my fucking shoes. Because your shoes got holes. You got a girlfriend, right? You need your hair done, right? Why you not asking your bitch to do your hair? If you texting somebody at 2, 3 in the morning, it's giving after hours. It's giving you trying to get in them drawers. It's giving you trying to sneaky link. What phone you called you off of? Put two and two together. He called you off his bitch phone. What you think me and you gonna do at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning? Just smoke? <coughs> you lost me. Fucking channel with your returning subscriber. Welcome back, bitch. Yeah, it's currently like five o'clock in the morning, soon to be six o'clock in the morning. I've been up all night. I tried to record this video at like 12 o'clock when I woke up from my little weed coma, but like I tried recording it, it was all over the place, it wasn't given, so we're gonna try to re record. I told you, hoes, in my last video that I was gonna do a story time about how this DL and stole my shoes so make sure i like comment and subscribe turn on post notifications y'all be almost at 1k so let's do our big one like i said it's like five o'clock six o'clock in the morning i'm trying to smoke this blunt hurry up and run my mouth and tell the story and go to sleep wake up so i can edit this video and keep this content pushing keep this content going I don't want to be too loud because, like I said, it's like 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. So, y'all bitches better turn that TV up, y'all phone up, and whatever the fuck y'all watching me on. Okay, cool. So, where do I start this at? Like, what the fuck? I right, so boom. So, this boy had followed me on Instagram one day. And mind you, I already knew him, but, like, I didn't really know him at the time for real like that. Like, I didn't really know him, know him. I knew him because if you know, then you know, I used to be a real bam, bam, bam. You no, know, in the parties, you know what I'm saying? Dumping in New York City parties. So, he went to the New York City parties. I went to the New York City functions. That's how we met each other. Cool. So, he followed me on Instagram, whatever, and we would talk, like, here and there. Like, hey, what's up? What you doing? You coming to this party? I, I you know laughing at my story, laughing at his story. If he posts something funny, cool. So one day I just wound up having to go to work, and it's like two, three o'clock in the morning. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. It's like one, two, three o'clock in the morning, right? So I'm on Instagram and I get a text message from the boy, and I'm like, yo, like what the fuck? Why are you texting me like two, three in the morning? Like you know what time that is? If you texting somebody at 2, 3 in the morning, it's giving after hours. It's giving you trying to get in them drawers. It's giving you trying to sneaky link. It's giving you trying to sneak around. That's what it's giving. You know what I'm saying? So, he texted me. He was like, yo, what's the vibe for my heart? So, I'm like, nah, I'm at work. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm at work. I'm at work. And even if I wasn't, at work, who texted me at two, three o'clock in the morning, talking about what's the vibe. Let's just say I wasn't at work, and I'm laying in the bed, and you text me talking about what's the vibes at two, three o'clock in the morning. And I tell you to pull up to my house. What you think me and you gonna do at two, three o'clock in the morning? Just smoke? <laughs> you lost me. So I tell him that I'm at work or whatever. He's like, oh man, cause I wanted to see, you know, what the vibe was. He was like, oh, because him and his man's that came from a spot downtown or whatever the case that was. And I'm like, okay, cool. So he's like, oh, would you fucking with my heart? Like how you been or whatever? I'm like, oh, I've been cool, cool. Then, you know, been working, trying to make this money on, trying to do my big one, figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do in my life, right? So that he hit me with the, oh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. He was like, oh, I don't be seeing you in the party so well, ah, ah. I was like, yeah, cause, the parties got bored, like, bored as fuck, no shade. 
So I was like, yeah, I just been staying to myself, you know, making money and shit like that. He's like, oh, yeah, that's cool, whatever, cool. So then he hit me with the, what you doing tomorrow? I was like, um, I don't know why, what's up? He was like, oh, what's the love? My heart, you trying to get high, shit like that. So I'm like, right, cool. So he's like, what time you want me to come tomorrow, whatever the case may be? I'm like, well, I get up at 8 o'clock in the morning. You get what I'm saying? So it's going to come later on throughout the day because when I get off of work, I'm going to be knocked out of sleep, you know? So... He's like, I bet. So I'm like, I bet. I'm going to text you later on to let you know what time to come and shit like that. He's like, all right, cool. So I leave him there. So then he texts me again. He's like, yo, my heart, can you do my hair? I said, can I do your hair? I was like, LMF, yo, sure. And I was like, I only know how to do box braids and twist or whatever. So he's like, oh, okay. So he sent me um, a reel of what he went done to his hair. And I was like, yeah, see, no, it's not giving all that. I just told you. I only know how to do twists and box braids. That's it. So why are you, why are you sending me a whole reel of a whole dramatic ass hairstyle? I'm like, I'm going to do that. So I told him, I was like, yeah, come on, cool. You know, I can do your hair, whatever. And I told him, that, I was like, just make sure you bring the stuff for me to do your hair. Like a comb, rubber bands, gel, whatever you need, whatever you use on your head, bring it. He's like, I bet. So now we sitting here having a conversation, just talking at this point. I forgot what we was talking about, but we was just talking. And it's like, it's 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I work overnight, y'all know that. So I've just been needing somebody to talk to, for real. So he was the only one up texting me, and he was texting back fast enough. So that's the person that was entertaining for the night. Cool. So as we talking, the man proceeds to um tell me that he has a girlfriend. So... In my head, my mind automatically switched to DL mode because, bro, let's clock it. Let, let's let's clock it. Let's clock it. You got a girlfriend, right? You need your hair done, right? Why you not asking your bitch to do your hair? That's one. Two, why are you texting me at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning asking me to do your hair? And then you want to proceed to tell me that you got a girlfriend? By all means, hey, cool. So we, we 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 still texting at this point. So I'm like, okay, you got a girlfriend. Okay, cool. I'm trying to make it seem like I'm not really on that, but I'm already on that because it's like you already giving the vibes that you want that. You know what I mean? So he's like, yo, my heart sent me a number. I'm about to Facetime you. I'm like, alright, cool. Send them my number. Boom. We on Facetime. Boom. So now we just chatted up. We really just chatted up, like talking, bobbing out on the phone. I'm laughing on the phone, cracking jokes, da da da. So he's like, hold on my heart, I'm gonna go to the store and give me some food, cause I'm hungry. I'm like, okay, cool. So he goes to the store, right? And he texts me like, yo, my heart, you got like a couple dollars on Cash App because I'm a couple dollars short on my food. So I'm like, okay, cool. I sent you a little, little five dollars, six dollars or whatever the case. So I sent it to him, boom. So he's like, thank you, Bahad, da da da, but call you when I get back at the crib. I guess the man fell asleep and his food fell asleep, whatever, cool, because he never called me when he got back in the crib. Keep that in mind, too. So I get off of work or whatever. I make my way home. Boom, I get home. The boy texts me. He's like, yo. I'm like, yo, what you doing, Bahad, da da da? He's like, oh, nothing, chilling. I, I'm trying to figure out what time I'm going to come. I'm like, I bet. I told him I just got up for work, so. Like I said, I'm probably going to take a nap and shit like that or whatever the case may be cool. So he's like, I right, bet. So I then took my nap. You know what I'm saying? All that good shit. I wake up, I text him. I'm like, yo, that I'm up now, whatever he's to be. So whatever time you want to come, you can come. So time just starts ticking. Time just starts ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking. So I'm like, yo, bro. Like, I'm like, yo, bro, time is, time is going. So I text him. I'm like, what's up? Are you coming? Like, what's the vibes? Whatever, whatever, whatever. He's like, yeah, I, I just had to handle something real quick. Send your addy. So I sent my address, right? I sent my address. He's like, I bet. I'm going to let you know when I'm on my way. I'm like, okay, cool. I was like, when you get to my building, let me know when you're downstairs so I could come downstairs to open the door. He's like, I bet. So like an hour and some change that went by. So I text him like, yo, like, where you at? Like, what you doing? He was like, oh my heart, I know I told you I was on my way, but I don't have no phone or whatever. So how am I supposed to text you, you know, when I get there? 
And he was like, oh, can I bring my cousin along or whatever the case would be? He was like, you could just put my cousin somewhere and have him sit down while, you know, you do my hair and shit. I dubbed it because like, bro, what do you mean? You don't have no phone. So who's, who, whose number I was on FaceTime with last night? It's about like two, three, four o'clock in the morning. What phone you called me off of? Put two and two together. He called me off his bitch phone. So I dubbed it. I said, no, your cousin cannot come, da, 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 whatever, whatever. He's like, so I, then I'm not going to come. Then I'm like, I was like, okay. And then I was like, yo, bro, why didn't you tell me you had no phone from the jump? Why didn't you tell me that you wanted your cousin to come too because you had no phone? You know what I'm saying? So I'm in my head, I'm thinking this nigga is lying, chatting out his ass. So I dubbed his cousin from coming. And I'm like, so what you going to do? Are you going to come still and get your hair done? Let me know. He's like, I, I'm gonna let you know, I, I, whatever it gets to be. So boom, like 20 minutes done went by, I get a notification saying that he's texting me. So I go to the messages and he said that y'all I'm on my way right now. I'm like, okay, cool. So he winds up coming, he winds up knocking on my door, right? My car sister opens the door, right? At this point, I didn't even think this man was coming because he said that he had no phone, da 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 da, I, I, whatever, whatever. In my head, I'm like, okay, cool. If I have no phone, right? And somebody asks me, to come over and I tell them that I have no phone, so can I bring somebody that got a phone so I can be able to contact them and they tell me that they, I can't bring them. I'm not going because I have no phone, so how am I gonna contact you and let you know that I'm on my way or that I'm close, so I'm here. Cool, so I thought the man wasn't coming. Oh my God, I thought the man wasn't coming. So he wound up coming and knocking on my door, cool. My god sister opens the door and he comes to my room. So I look and I'm like, oh shit, in my head, I'm like, oh, this man actually then came. Okay, cool. So he comes in the room, he closes the door and he's like, yo, what's up, Quay? And he was like, oh, your bitch ass thought I was going bait, right? And he smacks me. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like, yes, I thought you was going to bait, but like, you already flirting with me as soon as you walk through the door. Oh, you thought I was going bait, what's up, Quay? You don't even give me no hug or nothing. You just straight hit me. Okay. I take that as a sign of flirting, cause I flirt like that. Oh, you thought I was gonna bait and smack you? Oh, I was gonna bait that and I like, come on. I was like, yeah, they got the shoes on bait, ah, ah, cool. We started talking, we started chatting, whatever. I'm like, so you want me to do your hair right now? He was like, nah, you're not doing my hair right now. We could just smoke and chill and bob. Cool. Mind you, I told you the man told me that he got no phone. So when he came to my crib, the man really didn't have no phone. So, okay, cool. You have no phone. Now, we smoking, we smoking, we smoking, or whatever the case, it be cool. Now, I started doing his hair. So, he's sitting in the chair. I grabbed the shit, or whatever the case, it be. I hate them boys to comb the chair and all that. And now, I'm in the process of, you know, parting his hair, you know, doing his hair. So, he's like, yo, can I use your phone? So, I get to my Instagram and shit like that. I'm like, all right, cool. So, this man is on my phone the whole time I'm doing his hair on God, like the whole time. So I'm doing his hair, doing his hair, doing his hair, boom. Halfway through his head, I take a break. I sit back on my bed, I start rolling up. We start, you know, talking, you know, chat it up. So, as we chat it up or whatever, I forgot what the fuck we was talking about. I forgot what the fuck the conversation was about, but we started, started play fighting a little bit, right? So as we start play fighting a little bit, I noticed that like, he keeps touching my inner thigh and shit like that and grabbing my inner thigh and shit like that. So I'm like, yo, bro, we play for you, all right, cool, nigga. I'm, I'm smacking your face, you know, I'm hitting you up here, you know what I'm saying? But you keep directing your hands to my inner thigh. So I keep telling you, I keep telling him, yo, stop touching me, stop touching me, stop touching me. You're going to start something that you can't finish. You're going to start something that you can't finish. And he keep looking at me and he's like, oh, word. I'm like, oh. Yeah, like, word, nigga, you keep touching my inner thigh. Like, what's what's up? Like, what you want to do? But I thought you had a girlfriend, though. You know what I mean? Cool. So now we play fighting. Whatever, whatever. We wrestling on the bed and shit like that or whatever. Cool. So we finish play fighting, finish smoking. I get up and I start doing his hair again. So now, you know, he had brought rubber bands over and he's sitting in the chair. Boom, right? So... I could have put the rubber bands on the bed or on the table, you know what I'm saying? So as I'm twisting, I could just grab the rubber band off the table and put the rubber band on, on, on his head. But 
my ass put the rubber bands right in the middle of his pants. You know what I'm saying? So it gave, like, when I was grabbing the rubber bands, I was grabbing, you know? Cool. I was very flag double one. First of all, once I even put the rubber bands, like, in the middle of your pants, you should just, you should have said something, like, yo, bro, like, you could put the rubber bands on the table, or, like, yo, bro, you could put the rubber bands, like, right there, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I keep reaching and getting the rubber bands from the middle of your pants, and I'm giving the signs, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving the signs, you know? Cool. So, I finished doing the boy hair, whatever the case may be, or whatever that is, right? So, we chilling, we smoking now at this point. I had gel in my hands right so i wound up wiping the gel on his jeans because he had said something and i was like oh boy shut up and i wiped the gel on his jeans so now the gel left a little like a little wet mark on his jeans so he's like yo bro i'm like what it's gel it will dry up like what you like what, what are you saying so he's like yo if it don't dry up and it still look like my jeans is wet i'm taking one of your jeans or something so i'm like bro no you're not like you're bugging like what do you mean so the gel wound up drying up and i was like yo look the gel dried up like i said so he starts running running his mouth so i take the gel and i put more gel on his pants so he's looking at me and i'm looking at him he's looking at me and i'm looking at him and he's like oh yeah i bet this is what you do now i'm taking one of your jeans so he's like where your jeans at where your jeans at where your jeans at I'm like nowhere to be found because you're not taking none of my jeans. Like, like you're not taking none of my jeans. What do you want to take one of my jeans for? Because there's gel in your jeans? That doesn't make any sense. Like, that doesn't make any sense. So he gets up and he's walking around my room like, Yo, where your jeans at? Where your jeans at? Where your jeans at? Where your jeans at? I'm like nowhere to be found. Like, damn, you feeding for a pair of jeans right now. Like, what's up? So he's like, I bet. So he sits back down, right? And then he, he's like, oh, can I see your phone real quick? So he takes my phone and I'll just Instagram, right? Cool. So now he's texting whoever the fuck he's texting or whatever the case be. And then he winds up start, oh, send me your numbers, da, 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 da. He winds up getting people's number and FaceTiming them off my phone because, you know, he don't got no phone. Cool. So... He's doing whatever he's doing on my phone, whatever, cool. So he's like, um, yo, my heart, I'm about to get V real quick or whatever the case may be. So I'm about to leave in a little while. I'm about to go handle that, go get the V, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to come back and spin on you. And then, you know, we could chill, smoke or whatever the case may be. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Then he asked me, he's like, yo, you got work tonight? I was like, yeah, I got work tonight. I was like, wow, what happened? He was like, oh, because my cousin and shit that I went to with his spot or whatever. So... I'm gonna go get the V and I'm gonna go pick them up and I'm gonna come pick you up and then we was gonna go to the spot and shed chill or whatever the case may be and I was gonna drive you to work. I'm like, nah, bro, nah, bro, nah, bro, nah, bro. Like, nah, just dubbing it, bro, just dubbing it. I swear to God, just dubbing the fuck, like, dubbing it, right? And he's fiending. When I say fiending, he's like, come on, my heart, come on, my heart. I'm gonna take you to work. I'm gonna take you to work. I got V. I'm gonna drive you. Da 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 da. I'm like, okay, cool. I will think about it. He's like, I bet. So then he gets up and he goes to my shoes, right? So mind you, mind you, he had Burberry shoes on, like, bro. Burberry shoes on. Now, you know Burberry shoes go for like at least four or five hundred. We're talking about designer shoes here, okay? He's like, oh, what's this? That is actually looking at my shoes, right? So he's like, yo, my heart, can I wear your cool grays? That is, I'm like, bro, no, you cannot wear my cool grays. What the fuck? Like, for what? He's like, oh, because I don't want to go to the spot looking like this. Da, 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 da. I'm like, bro, no, you cannot wear my cool race. Like, I just got those. You see, you see them shits is just crispy. So then he looks at my Yeezys and he picks them up. He's like, I can I wear, can I, can I wear your Yeezys? I'm like, yo, bro, no. Like, no, 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 no. And he's like, come on, my heart. Come on, my heart. Come on, my heart. Don't do that. Don't be gay. I'm like, no, no. No, and no. So then he's like, I right, bet, bro. Whatever, cool. Push the shoes down. And then he was like, Yo, my heart, you really don't got no jeans that you could give me. Da 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 da, whatever the case be. I'm like, Yo, bro, you keep saying your ex for these pair of jeans or whatever. So I go, right? I go dig him and ruffle my clothes, right? And I give him a pair of Nike Tech pants that, like, I don't wear no more. They, they, they was dingy. 
like I couldn't fit them no more. I'm like, okay, cool. I can't fit these no more. I don't wear them. Might as well give it to the boy. So I gave it to him, right? And he put them on. He's like, all right, thanks, Mahat. And he goes back to my shoes, right? And he picks up the Yeezys again. And he's like, yo, Mahat, I really can't wear Yeezys, bro. I really can't wear Yeezys. I really can't wear Yeezys. So I'm like, yo, bro, fine, cool. He's like, all right, thanks, bro. So he takes his Burberry shoes off, right? And he puts my Yeezys on, right? And he looks in the mirror, da 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 whatever the case would be, cool. And he's like, yo, my heart. So it doesn't seem like I'm being a devil or no funny shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave my Burberry shoes here and I'm going to leave my jeans here. You get what I'm saying? Because you know I got to come back and get my shoes. I'm like, I bet. That makes sense. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to lie. That makes sense. Like, you leaving your... $400, $500 shoes here, you know what I'm saying? You want to step out, wear my Yeezys real quick in, in a little spot, do your thing. And I'm thinking this man is really going to come back and get his shoes. Cool. So he leaves his shoes, he puts his jeans down or whatever the case may be. Yada, yada, yada. So now we smoking the blunt or whatever. He's on my phone, you know, figuring out the vibe of whatever the fuck he about to do. So he's like, I bet my heart I got to go, you know what I'm saying? I go pick up the beast. So I'm like, all right, cool. So he gets up. I get up. I give this man a hug, right? Now, I give this man a hug. And as I'm hugging him, my hand, you know, I move my hand down to touch his, you know, to touch his piece. So now I'm hugging him like this. But my hand is like this on his piece. And he's moving back and he's whispering in my ear. He's like, yo, chill, yo, chill, yo, chill. And I'm like, nah, bro, nah, bro, nah, bro, nah, nah, bro, we're not chilling. So then I proceed to put my hands in his pants. You know what I'm saying? So when I put my hands in his, in his pants, he puts his hand over his piece. So now my hand is over his hand. You know what I'm saying? So basically, we both touching their piece, man. Like, what are you saying? He's like, yo, bro, chill, 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 chill. So I'm laughing. I'm like, all right, cool. So I let go, whatever, whatever. So he's like, I bet my heart, I'm going to text you and let you know when I'm going to slide back on you, whatever, you know, with the being shit. So I'm like, all right, cool. So he leaves, or whatever the case may be, or whatever, whatever. Maybe like 20 minutes, 30 minutes go by, right? I see that he's active on Instagram. So I text him, I'm like, yo, are you really gonna like, really swing back and come back with the V for real? Like, what's up? Let me know the vibes because I got work tonight. And if you really gonna come back, like I could take me like a nice little 30 minute nap and then I wake up and by the time I wake up, you should be done whatever you should be, you know, on the way to come get me a shake. He's like, I bet, yeah, I'm gonna come like an hour or so, whatever, cool, right? So I bet. So I went in vanish mode and I texted him. I was like, so we can't get right in the back of the V. And then I went to sleep. I woke up. I was blocked. Woke up and I was blocked. That was like. So now I took my cousin's phone. I went to her Instagram, searched up his Instagram. And he was on his story flexing in my shoes and shit like that or whatever on the Instagram story and shit like that. So I'm like, all right, cool. So at this point, I'm like confused at this point. Cause it's like, bro, you really just left your 400, $500 shoes here. So you're not gonna come get them shits back, whatever. I, I, you're not gonna bring my shoes back, whatever, cool. So I texted him off my cousin's page, like, um, LMFAO, so you blocked me, da 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 da. So like, bring me back my shoes. Like, I'm like, like bring back my shoes, ah, ah. To this day, till this day, my cousin never got a text back. So I'm really sitting here shocked and confused. I'm lost as fuck. Let me show you. These are the fucking shoes. These shits got holes. Hole, bro. Bro. No wonder you wanted to come to my house and sit here and press me to ask me to wear my shoes. No wonder you came to my house and stole my fucking shoes. Because your shoes got holes. Like, how'd you come to my house, right? Get your hair done, right? Get a pair of Nike Techs, right? And leave out of here with a pair of shoes.
losing me. Losing me. Oh my God. This man never came back in guy's shoes. As you can see, I still got these busted shits right here. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? The fuck? <laughs> oh my God, like, look at the shoes. These the shoes that he done left at my house. Technically the boy didn't really steal my shoes because I gave them to him and let him wear it. But I say he stole them because the man never brought them back. And it's like your girlfriend ain't asked, like, oh, where you get them shoes from and who did your hair? No. You left your girlfriend with a whole afro. And you went back to her with a with, with new pair of feet. A pair of Nike Tech pants. And your hair done? That's not suspicious? I'm a, I'm just... <laughs> you know how God works? It's crazy. Because he took my shoes, da 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 whatever the case may be. Why, a couple days later, I wind up getting the drop on some Balenciagas, the LED Balenciagas, and, and, and I caught me some LED Balenciagas. It's okay. It's okay. You, It's okay, because now I got $1,000 shoes on my feet, bitch. But um, I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this little story time. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all my socials. Follow me on Instagram. Turn on post notifications. And do your big one. No shade. Thank you.